Hey, fellow targeted individuals I like to call blessed and highly favored. So today, I decided to take a little trip out to just, you know, experience uh, God's beautiful green earth. Just experience his, just look at that. Just beautiful. It's beautiful. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? It's just so cool. Anyways, guys, um, I'm really having a good day today. You know, I was able to just to get out and just, just explore and just to walk around, just prayed up, you know, just, you know, giving all praise to the most high God just for, for everything. Just, you know, it's just a blessing just to be able to experience these things and uh, to know that the power lies within him, even though there's people out there with sinister, um, sinister, um, um, uh, intentions to seek to serve the will of their God, Satan, but because that's all targeted individual targeted, this whole targeted individual thing is all about. It's about these people serving their God in these final days. In these final days, there's people that are just out there. They wake up every single morning seeking who they can devour. These people don't have, these people do not have um, any other intentions but that, just like their father. Their father came, which is Satan, and he came to the, he presented himself before God, and he, and God asked him, where have you, where have you come from? He says, I came to, I go to and fro, seeking who I could devour. And that's what his people do. And with time of, of seeking God and following him, you will begin to realize that he has endowed you, endowed us with gifts as well. Gifts to discern the scenery. Gifts to, gifts to discern people. See, check this out. This one was not even here before I even, but I'm gonna get off of that. Uh, <laughs> it's just amazing how when I start talking about making these videos, people start surrounding me. It's like crowding, but, but it's like uh, we're able to have understanding of things in the spiritual realm that most people cannot are people that don't have this you know that are not seeking God that do not serve God they they don't have that they're not privy to that that's why I would implore every targeted individual to develop a relationship a secret relationship with with Jesus Christ now there's people that are that claim that they say they're Israelites I I know that I'm an Israelite based off of the prophecies of the Bible it's not based off of any uh, just because of color or because I'm upset because of the way the, the white man treat me or treat my forefathers, or whatever. No, it's a, it's based off of uh, biblical prophecy. That's in Deuteronomy 28, blessings and the cursings. And also that is uh, in many parts of the Bible, in Isaiah, Jeremiah, you have many, you have many people that are not privy to the type of information that could set them free in this world. For they have been um, manipulated and deceived by the fallen one. And when the time is up for them to have to um, answer for the decisions they've made, they're not going to be prepared for what they're going to experience. But right now, the children of Satan, they've been given gifts of familiar spirits to be able to uh, see into the lives of those people that, that, that oppose them. And also, they have a hive mind, which they can basically... Uh, interact and communicate with those people that uh, serve Satan with them. And so whenever we're out here in the world and you're walking, it doesn't matter if you, um, it doesn't matter uh, where you're at. It doesn't matter if you try to do a geographical uh, relocation because you're so tired and sick of this targeted individual stuff happening to you. It doesn't matter. It follows you everywhere you go. Everywhere that that, that people that serve God or that God has his hand on their lives everywhere we go in these last days we will if you if he has awoken you to uh, to, to understand the, the, the things in the spiritual realm you're going to notice these people around you you will become uh, more aware as time goes along just by being experienced to it by you know of course watching the videos that you've seen of other target individuals that you know have gone through these types of things all the tactics they use uh, they're the tactics that they use are to torment you. Basically, these people, everybody wonders what they've done wrong to invite this type of uh, harassment on their lives. 
It's, it's, it's basically not what you've done wrong. It's the person that you are in the time period in which the most high has allowed you to be in. So in these times, which the time periods is wrapping up, things in the spiritual realm are going to be revealed. In the Bible, it says that knowledge shall be increased. It's not knowledge of planes being made or, or technological type uh, things being created, even though they are being created. It's a knowledge of the, the scriptures, knowledge of the world around you, knowledge of the spiritual realm around you. That is what is uh, basically being revealed in these last days. Now, there are people that have lots of knowledge of things that, of things that, um, uh, that sorry about that. There's people that have lots of knowledge of things that can't be known other than the fact that they've uh, went out and uh, somebody told them, or of course they've learned it themselves. But then there's also those that have knowledge of things that come from the spiritual realm. Now, in the Garden of Eden, there was the tree of life, and there was also the tree of good and evil. Now, the tree of life was the, as such, so where you would, how Satan was, uh, he offered Adam and Eve uh, the gift of knowledge. He says, if you was to eat this apple, your eyes shall be open and you shall see those things that God did not want you to see. And so people in this world, just like Eve took that, that apple, ate of the apple, ate of the fig or whatever that fruit was. And she ate of it and her eyes was open. And now she knew she was naked. Adam went and took the apple and he also realized that he was naked. And so now God came to them in the cool of the day and he's walking and he's saying, like, well, Adam, where are you? And Adam and Eve hid. They hid from God because now their countenance and their their likeness was not their likeness, but their countenance was changed. So now they're people that understand things about about themselves, about the world, about about just things that they were not supposed to know. They were not supposed to know that they were naked. And this is not God trying to hide things from them. We lived in a perfect uh, situation. We were able to walk with God. We were completely happy. Everything was perfect. But then when they decided to open there to, to take the, to, to, when they were deceived by Satan and they took that fruit, their eyes were open. And now they were sentenced to death. And that in this world, Satan wants his people to uh, he, he, he's, he wants them to seek knowledge, knowledge, but it's not knowledge that is good knowledge because all knowledge that goes outside the knowledge of God is evil. So he wanted them to have the knowledge of, of rebellion, the knowledge of, 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 of false self that says that we can do everything in this world and without God, we don't need him. We don't need, that's what they decided for themselves that they wanted. And so when they ate of that fruit, their eyes were open to that, and all mankind from that day forward was uh, privy to that information. So as time has gone along, each generation gets worse. Each generation culminates to its 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 its, its going and heading towards an uh, end. The end is getting closer with each day that passes by, from the time that Adam and Eve were on the earth to now. And so that's why the world has gotten so crazy and it's so just so wicked and so because this is the the, the byproducts. So this is the manifestation of the sin and the death that was prophesied by God to enter on into this world. Satan wants God's creation to continue to go in this path. That path is the left path. He said, God says that when he when he judges the, the, the uh, judges man, that he is going to have the people he's going to tell the people that are on his left side to depart from him. Those people that choose the left path, that serve Satan, that, that hate God, that live for this world, that do not obey the commandments, that do not trust in Christ as the only way, the only the way, only way to salvation. They are going to be on his left side and be called to depart from him. And that's what Satan wants. He has deceived and tricked these people in this world to believe that there is something greater that's on his side when he knows and his kingdom knows all those demons and fallen angels that these people worship, all these familiar spirits. They know that these people that accept Satan and accept them are going to perish and burn in the fire with them but they've deceived these people as to believe that no 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 that's not going to happen you're going to have greatness and you're going to be better than ever you're god yourself and and you're better than god and god lied to you that's what they're tempting tricking these people to believe and so they give them these gifts they give them the wealth they give them position in the world they give them power in the world and it's a heavy deception but in the end that deception is going to culminate to the gnashing of the teeth and the understanding that they made the worst decision they could ever make in their lives. 
targeted individuals. We are people, there are people out there that are fake targeted individuals. They make videos as to have you believe that, uh, 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 oh yeah, the, sorry, um, once again, so they make these videos as to make you believe that everyone out here is going through this experience, but no, it is not everyone. Everyone's eyes have not been open and are not privy to this information that is given to people that are real targeted, uh, targeted individuals. I am a real targeted individual. The things that I've gone through and go through in my life attest to that. The thing, and, but it's all to give us strength and to perfect us in Christ Jesus. He says that he will never give us anything that we cannot handle. He will not give us anything we cannot handle. He says that when we go through these things, it is to perfect us. He didn't say to go through this type of, this type of thing, but this is one of those things. Christ was also a targeted individual. They followed him everywhere he went. They talked about him. They said things to him. They tried to hurt him. They did hurt him. Of course, he could have stopped him anytime he wanted, but he had a job to do, just like we have a job to do. And so this is the, this is the, uh, the, 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 this is basically the storyline that has been set before us. And we are players in this storyline until the end. He says, endure to the end, because in the end, brothers and sisters, when he comes back and if you are found worthy to be with him by obeying the commandments every day, seeking him, obeying the commandments, even though you fail, you keep seeking him, you keep serving him, you keep praying for forgiveness, you keep praying for people, you keep loving people. He, you will experience the greatest joy, the greatest peace, the greatest blessings, eternal blessings that could ever, can't even be imagined. The mansions have not even, no eyes, no ears have heard or seen the things that the Most High God has prepared for those that love him. These are the days where we stick, we have to stick close to God, seek him, give love and peace and, and be peaceful and don't fall into these tricks that this government and that these people in this world that serve Satan are trying to get us to do, to, to fight with each other and to hate each other. Do not fall for that evil. Stick with God. Love your brother. Love yourself. Realize that this is not happening just by chance. We are going through this stuff for a reason, but you stick with God and you get stronger when you stick with God and you keep going through. I've gone through stuff since my first video I made on here. The things I've gone through, amazing, amazing. But the most high God is with me. He says, he, he, if I be with you, who can be against you? And that's the truth. Blessed are the targeted individuals. Blessed are we in the city all day. Blessings to you guys. Till next time. The word of what you think it is. Listen what you hear it. The real lesson to be learned. Never what you hear it. Using the cortex, the spinning wheels, choices to hex. The witness never witnessed. The sellers never check.